Hi there guys, welcome back to the Kingfisher YouTube channel. Now, today is the final episode, other than the species file, on the three parts of how to target Garrick from the shore. This is going to be going back to old school, sort of a hawk on uh, maybe the older bullies. Some, this is something that they would prefer to do over sliding. This is throwing a live bait for a Garrick. Now, the tackle has changed. It's no longer a Conalon Deluxe 9 ounce and uh, six and a quarter KP that you're gonna be throwing 40 pound maxima with a live shad. We now, we've come further forward in technology. You can still do it with that setup, don't, don't get me wrong, but this is now a much easier way to get this done. So today, we just got a very simple setup here in front. Ray will cover how to do the actual rigging itself, but in simplicity, for what I use, Trace, I do about a meter long hook snoot, and that can be about 0.80, or depending on the, if you want to go heavier, but about 0.80 is what I use. A 6.0 mustard tuna circle, cable tie through the eye sockets of the live bait, go put the hook there, go around that, just pull it tight, cut that off. Done, your bait is rigged. You can swim freely, it's pulling in from the front, so it's pulling in forward. And then I use the, a, a nice combi swivel so you can swim around, do the sinker coming off the bottom of the combi swivel, and the sinker line just a little bit longer than that with a grapnel sinker or a cone depending on the, where you're fishing. So that then, the bait allowed to swim around like that. The nice thing about this, you actually, in my opinion, this is a more successful method of targeting Garrick than it is with sliding a bait, but this is a bit more tricky. It requires a bit more skill to actually learn how to throw the bait. So, to the actual, stuff that we are using. I've got the 15 foot elite medium heavy here, that's the five to seven ounce. With the bionic finger on here, it allows you to throw a heavy bait a lot easier than it does if you're having to use your finger. So the bionic finger is essential when it comes to throwing heavy baits. Your, you've got a Fuji anti-tangle first up and then Fuji O concepts all the way through. Um, so the guides, the rod itself, five to seven ounce, it sounds a bit light, it will throw a seven ounce sinker and a whole shad if you really wanted to, if you know how to throw. That's the very important bit. If you are whipping through like that, you're gonna break any rod. This guy, you're gonna be throwing probably about a five ounce sinker. And generally your live baits are gonna be mozzies, quarantine that you're gonna be throwing. Um, and then just legal size shad. So those will all be held in place with a five ounce sinker, be it a grapnel or a cone. So you don't really need to go more than that. Some guys, if you're gonna go heavier, if you really wanna use a nine ounce sinker, then you're gonna use the heavy version of this, so the six to nine ounce is gonna be the one you wanna go with. So this is for your average live bait. So legal size blacktail, legal size quarantine, pinkies, all of that. That's what you're gonna be using, yeah. Okay, so that's the rod covered, guys. Now we're gonna be talking about the reel and what we're gonna put on that reel. So my choice, BG, mag seal. This is because sometimes you are gonna be wading through and getting into a bit of deeper water if you want to cast a bit further. So that is the reason we go for the mags or over the normal BG. If you want, if the pocket allows, the Saltus is an even better option, but this guy will do everything you need it to do. So it's a 6,500 size. I wouldn't go with the eight. The eight's just a little bit heavier. Um, if you could, obviously can only have one reel, go for the 8,000. Now, onto that eight strand J-Braid. Now this is 300 meters, 50 pound. You can go to 40 if you want to throw further. 50 is what I'd go with. Just gives you that extra little bit of, of oomph for the throw. And on the backing, the four strand 50 pound, those two will fill that up perfectly. So those are the two braids there. And then obviously you're going to need a braid leader to take the pressure of the cast and the live bait. That 150 pound, 180 pound, 100, 100 pound even will do it, but 150 is going to be just right. Rhino braid leader there. That you are going to need to attach with an FG, is my, my preference there, onto your, your braid. Or you can even go onto a PR if you want to be fancy. But my, my opinion, FG knot on there is the nicest, smallest knot. And that about seven meters of that is going to be perfect enough for you to throw. And that's going to get tied straight onto your trace. Now, some guys are going to tell you that you need to have a nylon, long section of nylon so the fish can't see it, whatnot. If you want to, you can replace the braid leader with a nylon leader. I just find that I haven't lost any bites using 
sprayed over using nylon for that. So that's why your trace is going to be made of a good quality nylon like a Kingfisher leader material or Maxima, either of the two. So guys, when it comes to casting, nice long drop, slower action coming through. You don't want this, this quick over the top kind of casting. With that live bait rigged on the bridle like that, you can throw it as hard as you want, but try and loop your cast a little bit more when you're throwing a heavier weight, so you're not putting all the, all the pressure onto the tackle. As long as you're in the restraints of the rod, it will throw it beautifully. So yeah, get a nice, when you're starting out, it's a bit difficult with the heavier weights. So wider cast, spread your hands out nice and fast. So obviously finger on the bonnet, put your hand up here. Guys do this, you're losing all your power. Put on that, you've got a nice twist with your hips and you'll get much, much better distance. So guys, that's throwing live bait for Garrick. Um, give it a go. It is a lovely method of doing that and a very successful way of targeting Garrick. Cheers, guys.